What is up, Star Seeds? I am Sid Alexandria, and today we are going to be talking about the Cabal, the Illuminati, the few who are in control of the all, reptilians, cloning, shapeshifters, selling your soul, how to get in, what the rituals are, and all of this, as well as like current events, stuff with Nickelodeon, Disney, human, specifically younger human exchanges as well as just humans in general no matter what age and maybe even not all humans maybe just like beings in general human originally but with reptilians kind of implanted to some people all of this this weird shit okay we're gonna get into today and really specifically kind of how to get into the Illuminati. This is not like a how-to video. This is just what I believe people do. Because I, I honestly don't know how to get in, but I feel like I know what some of the steps are. Because I, I see it. I'm aware of it. It's right in our freaking faces. It's not like I know somebody who told me this stuff. It's just boom, smack dab right there for anyone to really understand if you know how to put two and two together. So that's what this video is. Sure, I use my intuition. Sure, I, you know, tap into it a little bit out of like curiosity because like I said, it's thrown in our faces. So I do want to know what the heck is going on with the world. Okay, so that's why I'm making this video. I don't like to talk about this sort of stuff. I don't like to celebrity name drop, but I'm gonna in this video to give some examples and the examples might not be correct. You know, I don't know, but it's what I believe. Okay, so take it with a grain of salt. I believe the title of this video is going to be called It's Not Selling Your Soul, It's Selling Your Body because 100% that's correct and I've been wanting to make this video for a while. This has been on my list of videos to make probably since, I don't know, 2018 when I was going to start this YouTube channel but the past few months it's been like top of my list when the Super Bowl came around. I was going to make a video on that but I was like, you know, I feel like I'm waiting for something and then recent events like the news and the memes that I saw on Facebook just this morning I was like <laughs> it's the time now okay it's time now literally right after I planned to have this video at the top of my list like possibly one of my next videos a couple months ago then Elizabeth April did post a video and I was like girl great minds think alike this has actually happened to me a lot where I'll have this YouTube video idea and I type it in my phone in my notes of videos that I'm going to do next and then either her specifically or another spiritual YouTuber that I watch will talk about the video or it'll just pop up on my For You page on TikTok, someone I've never seen before talking about it and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like people who post spiritual content, a lot of them, we're tuning into this energetic field of information and we're getting the same downloads at the same time a lot of people and also it's just synchronicities as well and like it's the algorithm on my phone connecting to like stuff in my mind and what I'm feeling but mainly I like to believe it's more so synchronicities rather than like this weird AI algorithm I hope it's just kind of more of that like intuitive type of synchronicity anyways that out of the way I totally agree with what she said in that video and it's funny how certain spiritual content creators how the first time you see them you might not resonate with them and then a year or so later they're like one of your top three favorites because this has happened to me with like Bridget Nielsen I talked about I saw an article about her when I was in middle school and I was like what the fuck <laughs> and then once I actually got into spirituality she's like been my number one favorite and then Gigi Young I saw a video of and at the time I was already into spiritual stuff but I was like she seems so nice and like a vibe but like not my vibe currently and then she has become my favorite I'll go through like Gigi Young phases because you really have to be in a mood to listen to like her esoteric anthroposophy content and so when I'm in that mood she is the mood and she's one of my favorites for that and then Elizabeth April has become a recent favorite of mine the past few months, who once again, the first time I saw her, even though I was already into spirituality, I was like, hmm, I don't know. Like, it's a lot. 
And then now I'm like, girl, every single thing you say, so far at least, that I've heard at least, I'm like, whoa, I agree with. Like, I literally believe the same thing. I've literally gotten the same downloads. So I just want to throw that out there that like, yes, there are similarities between what I'm saying as to things that other people, EA in specific, has said as well. So just throwing that out there, like I'm aware that there's other similar content, but this is my version of it and lots of different things that I've been wanting to talk about wrapped into one video. Okay, here we go. So like Elizabeth says, she's right, your soul is not up for sale. I totally agree with that. I've always believed in that. And I didn't understand why people called it selling your soul. It doesn't align with some people's morals. So I think that's where the name comes from, selling your soul. Like your moral beliefs, you just kind of push out the window and you're like, whatever. Like I will kind of, I don't want to say damage my soul, but you could say that, you know, I'm going to traumatize my soul for this. Okay, you can say that. It's traumatizing the soul. It's not selling the soul. It's selling your body because you are giving up control of your body when you join this elite group of people, okay? Because I believe there are certain levels of being involved in this cabal group okay and cabal is like literally a i think it's a religion i think it's a mix of like a form of judaism and paganism kind of meshed together but it's some weird satanic shit it's not pagan it's not jewish it's some weird satanic off branch of both of those combined okay it's because there's pagans i love there's jews i love i love them but the people in the cabal that's a different thing that's like Kabbalistic cabal religion very different thing so anyways the people who are a part of this there's there's a system and the people at the top really hard to like I don't want to say gain access because that sounds so weird but it's really hard to kind of piece together intuitively what exactly is going on at the top and it's like that for a reason because they're aware of the spirituality so they put up these like spiritual defenses so you can't exactly see what's going on at the top but you can see their pawns like sean diddy combs is a pawn you know ellen degeneres a pawn barack obama a pawn joe biden like the list goes on and on and on the people who are these pawns they're easier to see jeffrey epstein dan schneider the list goes on they're pawns they're playing the game for these people higher up but the fact that they're so much i don't want to say higher but just in terms of societal status like they're the, they're richer than like me obviously they're more well known than me obviously so that's why i'm calling them even higher up than most other people right but they're still being controlled by these even more so higher ups because everybody in the industry knows that diddy's a fucking pervert He's a weirdo, okay, and he's taken advantage of people. Sure, Usher and Justin Bieber, but the kids in these freaking tunnels, I'm sure, that go under his house because that news just broke out. Not a big shocker. Disturbing, sad, it makes me angry nonetheless, but I'm not shocked, okay? Just like when all of this Epstein stuff came out. I'm not shocked. We all know weird shit was going on on that island. We all know that weird shit goes on in like the child star industry. It's not just Nickelodeon. I'm sure Disney as well. And also there was weird stuff with like Drake Bell being accused of sexual misconduct or something with a minor. And then now he releases in this show, Quiet on Set, that he was raped as a kid. So it's like, did he hurt people because he was hurt? is this true i don't i don't want to like bash somebody for coming out and talking about that because it does seem very real what he's talking about and i believe drake bell and maybe the girl that accused him was lying i don't know but anyways it's just this whole mind fuck of a situation in general i've always gotten weird vibes from that josh peck dude i do think he took hush money and it seems like Ariana Grande is definitely taking hush money, other people as well. And then there's some people who didn't take the hush money. Like, I believe that Jeanette girl. There's been, like, at least one crew member who was, like, I don't know, early 20s girl that went missing from a Disney cruise ship, a worker, a staff member, not a child. But it's, like, weird stuff happens at Disney. The Disney 
theme park, either Disneyland or Disney World, is actually owned by like a royal family in England or something I saw. So it's either the one in Florida or the one in California, but it's actually not a part of the United States. Like when you're in the theme park, that land is actually a part of England. Not a very well-known fact. Also the fact that Hawaii is not a part of the US and we just actually claim it to be a US territory, but it's not. I think I've talked about this in another YouTube video, but yeah, Hawaii is actually not a part of the US. People have just gone along with this because the US says it is, because we have more guns, basically, is the logic behind that. Anyways, so I want to talk more about this selling the soul process. Like I said, it's not selling your soul, it's giving up control of your body for, I believe, a negative reptilian royalty entity to be kind of like a host in this body as well. So you have the original human soul and then you have kind of this reptilian soul overlay. Like take the queen, for example, who passed fairly recently. She has this like original soul energy and then she has this reptilian energy that takes part in her body as well and when I think of like Khloe Kardashian it's like she has this original soul energy and then you can tell there's the reptilian um in her as well and lots of other people if you think about some certain famous people and you can pick up on their energy sometimes you can see like there's the original you know Kim Kardashian or whoever you're looking at and then there's the reptilian influence as well. Once again, I hate to name drop, but like I'm doing it. And so anyways, if someone is interested in joining the Illuminati, you either one have to be in a certain bloodline, like a lot of presidents have been in the same bloodline. There's been um, like Taylor Swift, it's rumored that she's in a certain bloodline so it could be a bloodline thing or it's someone who is like rags to riches story a lot of the time you're either like in it already like you're rich already and already in it or a part of a bloodline that is or it's like a rags to riches story let's I love Eminem I love Marshall but let's go there okay because despite my love for him, I love everybody, but it's like, I, I'm a stan. And anyways, it's hard for me to admit, but it's like, yeah, I do think, um, I guess you could say I do think he sold his body. Lately, when I look at pictures of him, he doesn't look the same. He even looks like he's been cloned. And it's sad to admit, but it's like, I think so. But anyways, if you look at his backstory, okay he came from nothing he came from detroit he was working on his music he had a best friend proof they were in d12 together with four other guys they were their plan was to get big quick and then once they got big they would help each other up to the top too everyone thought proof was gonna make it big first but marshall pretty much did and when he was getting there like as he's gaining popularity as he meets with Dre and stuff and he gets this deal, he's starting to come up. And then what happens? Then Proof is shot and killed. And then M gets this tattoo that says Proof on his arm. And his best friend in the whole world is dead. And then he gains a lot of popularity, you guys. It might just be a synchronistic timing thing or it was a sacrifice. There have been celebrities that say, they took so-and-so from me, they took my daughter from me, like they, sure they either threatened to kill their family members or like they literally did. Like some people's family members literally die and then they gain popularity. Dre's son died. Chrissy Teigen and John Legend they had an unborn child who died and it wasn't super early on it was later in the pregnancy and I understand it happens sometimes but the whole situation just seemed a little weird that YNW Melly dude or whatever his name is I think he was trying to get into the Illuminati but it went wrong like he killed his best friend or something right 
I think he was trying to do his sacrifice. You either kill somebody you love, and it might not be you actually doing the killing, but it might be you ordering them to die, or it might be you with a gun or however, but it could be someone else that does it for you and you just kind of okay, um, you know, you kind of sign off on it, right? But I feel like people used to do this with animals and stuff, animal sacrifices. Then it turned into people more important to you because it gives it more power, I believe. So that is why people resort to these people that are like some of their favorite people to do this to, right? Like M didn't kill Haley because he didn't want to kill his daughter, but best friend, next best thing, okay. Like it was kind of that mindset, I feel like. And it's not like these people are happy about it, but like they agreed to it nonetheless, in my opinion. So that's one way. It's literally like a gang because think of a gang. You can get beaten, have sex to get in, or you can, you know, kill for the gang to get in. That's literally how it is to get into the Illuminati. You sacrifice somebody you love or you get beat the fuck up or you like are the victim of an orgy basically. Like you're the one getting fucked and getting hurt and then it's recorded on camera. Okay, like Angelina Jolie talked about this, you guys. She literally admitted to like having sex on camera, getting beaten the fuck up on camera, and they take a video of all of it and then they keep it for blackmail. They take a video of you hurting other people and fucking other people and probably kids as well to keep as uh, like blackmail in case you ever threaten to say something that they don't want you to say. Or in case you do something like that, you know, then they'll release that footage of you doing these terrible things. So yeah, that's why people who are in the Illuminati can't talk because yeah, they know that people they love could get killed, but if they're a selfish son of a bitch and they only care about themselves, then also they have these tapes of them doing stuff and that will destroy their image, the thing that some people care about most. So that's why they have those two forms of blackmail. Kill more people that they love or to release that footage and make them look like a piece of shit. So yeah. I don't really know the way to get the Illuminati's attention, like to be invited to join or something. Megan Fox talked about the Illuminati a little bit in a recent interview that she did. She was like, I don't know if it's real or not. Like it really seems like it is, like I do believe in it but I feel like if it was real, I would have been extended an offer to join at this point, but I have not been extended that offer. So I think she knows damn well it exists, and I think she is a part of it to a certain extent, whether or not she's gonna admit it. I think she does the bare minimum to get in, and I think she stays out of it and keeps her mouth shut about certain things, which is bad. But I think she kind of, as a young kid, sent out these signals, you know, throwing up certain devilish satanic signs to get their attention. I think she took that route. That's how she got in. Because she was also more of a rags to riches story. Uh, same with Machine Gun Kelly. I think he did like whatever it took to get fame. Same with M. Like they did whatever they had to do because they wanted to be famous. And then if you are at a level of being in this messed up club, this Illuminati gang, if you are at a certain level then I believe a reptilian soul can enter your body and they gain partial control over it. And I do think that the body can kind of physically shapeshift a little bit. Like I do think that their tongue can be longer and that they play with their tongue in their mouth and stuff sometimes. I do think the hands look weird when a reptilian is in the body. The eyes look different. The eyes are the window to the soul. The vibe is different. And I do think reptilians can be in other bodies too. Not just celebrities, but everyday civilians as well, although it's not super common in my opinion. There is one person I can think of who I really think has a reptilian connection. And I used to just think it was a strong past life connection. And maybe it is, but also I'm like, dude, maybe there's a reptilian in that body too. I don't know. But there's just one person in particular that I can think of local to my hometown who has had sexual assault scandals 
and I know they're very real. They're not just accusations. There is truth to them. And I told this person, yeah, you have a strong reptilian connection, dude. And he was kind of just like, hmm, okay, like, that's interesting, but really weird. Like, he just kind of played it off. And it, it you know, it didn't sound weird or incriminating in any way, in my opinion. I don't know, it could be just the past life connection that this person has, but it does seem weird nonetheless. Anyways, I do think people get the Illuminati's attention with signals, like Ice Spice at this last Super Bowl. You guys have probably heard of this, but she was literally throwing up the Hail Satan sign. She was wearing an upside down cross. She was being so extra. It was just wild. And she was wearing Balenciaga. The fact that she was with Taylor Swift and like they didn't really have any connection in the past that I know of. And now she's sitting with Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl, which is totally scripted. The fact that Taylor Swift is dating the quarterback of the team who won the Super Bowl. I mean, was there really any question in anybody's mind what team was going to the Super Bowl and what team was gonna win? No, we all knew that Taylor Swift's boyfriend was gonna win because it's not a real couple. They were thrown together by the NFL, by the higher ups to get more people to freaking watch football. How would this work? You know, I don't know anybody like stupid enough to watch football because Taylor Swift is dating one of the players. And then, I see people in my life watching football because Taylor Swift was dating one of the players. Like, what? And then people were stupid enough to believe that the Lions game was real when, like, no. We lost it at the last minute because we had to because the other team was scripted to win. That's why the Lions lost. Hate to break it to you, but I literally believe that. Taylor Swift's boyfriend was gonna go to the Super Bowl and win it no matter what. Also, another thing, like, Taylor Swift, who actually listens to her music? No offense, because, like, I listened to some of her songs when I was younger, but the fact that she has so many hits, it's like, who the hell listened to it? Like, bots. Bots freaking listened to it. Like, she does stuff in this cabalist group that gets her recognition and then they give her listens through bots it's easy to do it's easy to hack the system and the higher-ups do it for these people and it's like all of these up-and-coming artists i think of hip-hop artists especially um but all of these like new girls like ice spice and i don't even know the other ones names um like sexy red is one of them and these other ones sexy red has basically admitted like they're like did you sell your soul and she's like yeah i sold it for a double cheeseburger with mac sauce or something like that and it's like sure she could have been joking but i believe there's truth to most jokes okay just like the jokes um made about the dad from full house about the olsen twins when they roasted him at the roast of this guy all of the comedians that roasted him were making jokes about him sexually assaulting the Olsen twins when they were very young, when they were doing the show. And that is just so fucked up. Another example of child stars being taken advantage of. Anyways, Sexy Red admitted to it. Ice Spice didn't say anything, but she's throwing up these these signs, these these hellish signs, and she's at the Super Bowl with Taylor Swift, who's obviously involved. It's just wild what's going on with these celebrities and I don't like keeping up, but it's being thrown in our faces. One, as distraction. Mac Miller said it best, we become celebrities, distract from the hysteria. Doja Cat is a good example of somebody who is throwing out all of this, not even like subliminal messaging, this conscious, obvious, in your face messaging about I don't care, I'll paint the town red. Like, how much more clear can it get? Like, I don't care, I'll kill anybody I have to, to be powerful. Like, she's dressing up like the devil. She's posting pictures after Matthew Perry got killed. She's posting pictures of her on the friend sign. Really fucked up pictures that obviously a photographer had to take. She took time to do this fucked up photo shoot after Matthew Perry was killed or drowned in his hot tub drunk. He was killed. I have his book and it does say at the end, I looked for it and I found it in the book when I got it off thrift books. It says, if I'm in trouble, look for the bat signal. Look for the Batman logo. 
that means I'm in trouble. And right before he died, his last posts on Instagram are about Batman. What? It's a picture of the moon and talking about Batman. Like, that's what you think of when you think of the bat signal. So he was saying, like, I'm in trouble, guys. Like, I like they're going to get me. And they did. They did. It's always a suicide. People are always dying by suicides and overdose in Hollywood. Michael Jackson, Marilyn Monroe. Don't get me started on Marilyn Monroe. I love that woman. She knew that John F. Kennedy was going to talk about stuff. He told her she knew she wanted to help him release stuff. They wouldn't let him. They, they killed Kennedy. They killed Marilyn. Michael Jackson, they cloned him, and then they killed him and the clones. But anyways, this stuff with Doja Cat and Matthew Perry is so messed up, and it makes me think that Doja Cat had some involvement in Matthew Perry's death, and I don't understand why, but there is this weird, creepy connection between the two. Or she was just helping with the subliminal messaging that, like, the group that she's trying so freaking hard to be a member of, she was just kind of pushing that messaging that, yeah, they're responsible for his death. Really messed up. Like, let's talk about the Super Bowl because I feel like everybody knows that the halftime show is a satanic ritual. All of these performances that happen are a satanic ritual. There's messaging, there's subliminal messaging in almost everything. The floor in Kris Jenner's house is a subliminal message. That black and white checkerboard, that's not a good sign, you guys. Dressing up like a devil, pretty obvious, but not a good sign, you guys. And it's just wild. Like, the Super Bowl halftime shows, they've been so satanic the past few years. Like, it's been way too much in your face of weird, creepy shit going on. So this past Super Bowl, when I watched it, I was like, okay, this is, like, not as hardcore and I knew when I watched it, it's becoming a well-known thing that the halftime show is satanic. So they're like, we gotta dial back because people who aren't conspiracy theorists are starting to believe that the halftime show is creepy. So we need to cut back on it this year. And so when Usher performed, he was wearing this royal blue outfit during part of it. And at first I was like, hmm, what's the significance of blue? Because lately like Rihanna wore red, the girl's in on it too, even though I don't want to admit it. She was wearing all red. She did the all seeing eye sign. Black China's mom talked about this in a video. She was like, if you cover one eye, that's a sign because it's the one eye, it's the all seeing eye. If you do this with your eye, it's the all seeing eye. If you do this, obviously if you do this, like I don't want to do all the logos, but there's signs and it's like Nicki Minaj, Drake, Lil Wayne, they do those those signs a lot, um, but those are just a few. Anyways, Black China is involved in weird sex trafficking stuff as well as T.I. and Tiny. Black China said that Tiny really wanted uh, to have sex with Black China, so T.I. bought Black China for a night for Tiny and they did stuff. But T.I. and Tiny are involved in all sorts of stuff with kids, especially mainly teenagers. I feel like guys and girls, mainly teenage girls, I think. But they're involved with all types of that sex scandal shit. And now so is Black China. Black China is drugging girls and fucking them in hotel rooms. And it's a well-known thing now. Don't even get me started on Diddy. Like, he's been doing that for so long. But anyways, this royal blue color that Usher was wearing is a color... I believe, of reptilian royalty. Like there's a blue cast of reptilian royalty, that royal blue color. Like so black, white, like the checkerboard, and then red obviously for like that blood sacrifice. And then this royal blue is like a reptilian royalty color. So yeah, there was some subliminals in that halftime show performance, but they did definitely cut back because they had to because it was super duper obvious the past few years. Let's talk about cloning because this whole Kate Middleton thing that's happening lately, I believe she is a lot like Diana in her archetype and in her energy and in her following the royal family but also like questioning it on the inside secretly more so. And so I believe her soul really um, didn't want this reptilian soul to take over. 
and I don't even sense hardly any reptilian in her soul. Like, she really didn't let that take her over, and the royal family didn't like that, for one, because they're high up, right? And, like, they want you to let this reptilian take over because I believe it's also kind of a part of their genetic bloodline or some weird shit like that. I don't know exactly the details behind it, but there is some family connection as to why they let these reptilians in. It's because they believe they're a part of the same bloodline as the reptilians, actually. And so, anyways, there was drama with Prince William probably having an affair, and maybe that's why she got mad, or maybe she's just not agreeing with what the royal family is doing. But, like, shit went down, and so... I do think they either killed her or put her in a state where she was like not conscious, not talking and walking around, like none of that. But so I do think they kind of killed her. I do think she's gone and they got out her clone. And then they're going out and testing the clone. People saw Kate out with William at this like tractor supply store or whatever. And that was the clone. And the clone isn't passing very well. The clone was not cloning. The clone was not working that well. Hence the AI generated picture and then video. Of course they used a black and white striped shirt. They're using AI to help because the clone doesn't look like her. It's similar, but it's not her. And people know that, okay? Eminem does not freaking look like Eminem. Michael Jackson does not look like Michael Jackson, does not look like Michael Jackson, does not look like Michael Jackson. Like, there was a few different versions. This is Lil Wayne. This is Lil Wayne. This is Lil Wayne. Even this is Lil Wayne. But this is not Lil Wayne. This is not Lil Wayne. Notice the Balenciaga. And this is sure as shit, definitely not Lil Wayne. What did they do to Wayne, yo? This is not lung, kidney, liver failure, or whatever people are saying this is. This is something else. And this happens to a lot of people, and they're always like, oh, plastic surgery. Like, no, not plastic surgery, just different fucking body. Like, not the original person. And so, they had these clones of Kate made because that's how she was able to, like, marry William and be in the family was if she agreed to have, you know, the DNA taken to make clones or whatever. So they grab a clone. It's her saying she has cancer. And so many people immediately were like, oh my gosh, you know, I thought that it wasn't really Kate in the picture. And, you know, I thought some weird stuff was going down, but now I feel so bad because she has cancer. And people, someone literally commented, you know, they wouldn't lie about her having cancer. And I'm just thinking, are you serious right now? You don't think they would lie about her having cancer? Like, yes, the fuck they would. They would totally lie about that. What makes you think they wouldn't lie about that? They've been lying about cancer for so many years. They're acting like they don't have the cure for cancer. They're acting like you need to have chemotherapy and radiation and all this shit for cancer. Like, no, no. They're selling you the food and the products that cause the cancer and they're acting like they don't know the cure for it. It's just ridiculous. So they say she has cancer. And this is because it gives them a little bit of time to decide what the fuck they want to do. It gives them time to give Kate privacy and it gives them time to either get this clone passing or kill her, you know, kill the clone as well. Like, I would not be surprised if in three months the cancer was just too much for her and she's gone or, you know, if she's still struggling and still needs her privacy and stuff and they might drag it on but ugh, it's just ridiculous that they're using the the c word because if you say cancer then oh man you better be nice to them you better not question them now like it's just so messed up doesn't surprise me one bit when i saw that cancer diagnosis i was like okay so i'm even more sure that i'm correct on this and i was shocked at how many people were like oh i was so wrong like no no you weren't like this is how you know you're on the money but whatever. <laughs> I feel like there's so much more that I could talk about in this video, but I don't want it to be too long. I really don't like talking about this subject too much, so this might be kind of the only video on this topic. There might be more to come. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I just don't like putting my whole mental space in this sphere. It's like so much stuff has been popping up in 2024, especially in like it's only March. Last night or something, this Baltimore bridge got broken by this ship, obviously purposely running through it. There's memes of like 
Diddy being like, they got me, you know, blow up the bridge. I don't want to give a lot of energy to it because it's, it's relevant. This is a big subject, like people being brought to justice but it's like i think there's just honestly so much shit bubbling up right now that it's like they can't hide the conspiracy theories anymore because people on tiktok are gonna talk and people on youtube are gonna talk they can't hide the info coming out about all of these rape victims um the info coming out about how we all believe in clones now average everyday people believe that there's weird shit going on with celebrities like pulling distractions and stuff the nfl is scripted people are believing it now and this is exactly what we need for this kind of old structure to crumble and us to rise up and build a new and better one so that's the note that i want to leave us off on there is some wild shit coming soon. This eclipse people are talking about, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if there's going to be a little power outage again, like uh, like we kind of talked about before in my video on how if you can plan for a wedding, you can plan for a natural disaster. Like there's going to be more um, social media apps going down, not working, cell service going out, like this AT&T Thing that also happened to Verizon phones and T-Mobile phones as well as other brands. It wasn't just AT&T, like everyone experienced this for a little bit. There's going to be more of that and yes it is due to solar flares and yes it is also due to the government testing us. It's a mix of both. Yeah, I don't want to be thinking about celebrities and pop culture and all this shit all the time but I am human and it makes me happy to see Diddy busted on this stuff and also it makes me feel really gross inside thinking about the things that are going on in the world so that's why I don't want to dive into it too much if that makes sense and I hope you guys can carry the same awareness and boundaries um, within this subject that I do or at least similar ones that work for you okay so don't marinate in the grossness too much because it's hard for your mind to tell the difference when you're thinking about these subjects your mind doesn't always know if you're thinking about it in a positive or negative way it just knows that you're thinking about it and it's not something you want to think about too much so take it in moderation okay and especially after watching this video especially if you're going to watch it around the time of the eclipse like please just kind of get it out of your mind space after this you got it in, you heard the information, and now it's like, let's get it out and cleanse it out because we really don't want to be thinking about all this shit during this powerful time. We want to just focus on us and focus on the good and focus on new happy earth. Don't focus on the breaking down, just focus on the building up, honestly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below your thoughts, additional comments, all of that. I love you guys. Peace out.